And uh, thanks everybody for attending in person to our fifth annual, uh, now I think we might call it a convention. We've been calling it the HDTV Shootout, but I think we'll add the word convention. Because it's grown a lot. Uh, it's grown a lot in popularity with the manufacturers who are respecting it a little bit more themselves. They see that we put up every single high-end flat panel. Uh, would you let Shetsonos off? That was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, each year it's gained in popularity. Uh, the amount of people that want to attend the events, you might notice we're crowded on Saturday and Sunday now. We've been sold out. And we uh, have to sort of cut off the registration at a point. We, um, we get a lot more participation each year from the industry leaders uh, as well as the manufacturers. By industry leaders, we've been caucusing this week with Joe Kane. He's been providing a, a new test disc that's experimental, where he's put some new test patterns in here to torture these TVs, to put them through the most serious tests, to see how well they can really stand up and perform in all picture attributes. We have some new tools so we can diagnose these TVs a lot better than we were able to at last year's shootout or even yesterday. So that's kind of changed for this year. We also have fantastic televisions. These guys have done a fantastic job, and when you calibrate them so perfectly, and you peak the performance so individually and so carefully, you really get a fairly good even playing field and a way to evaluate them that's unique to us in putting up all of these panels at one time versus evaluating contrast ratio of one product or pitting them up against each other. And um, they've done a great job in building these panels. They've come out a lot better this year, and especially in the last two years, we've really got a rampant up upturn in picture quality and in the tools and in the way we can evaluate these things. Um, I've been an, an advocate of the uh, enthusiasts, particularly of video, because my background is in video engineering. I was a TV broadcast engineer uh, for 20 plus years uh, prior to starting this company 14 years ago. I got into it because like many of us as a hobbyist from the time I was a young child, this was my passion. Photography, cinematography, anything that was mechanical or electrical was my passion in life. And I like the art of photography and cinematography. I like the creativeness and direction, the storytelling. I like the emotion. I like the lighting. I like the colors. I like all the detail to be there so I can have that same feeling when I'm enjoying what these guys have put so much money into create. When the Oscars come around, I'm a maniac. I got such opinionated ideas about who should be the best director and who did the best scene sets. So it's a nice hobby to have, it's entertaining, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of different people here with a lot of different cultures, a lot of different uh, occupations, and we all share a passion for quality video. And of course, audio isn't far behind on that. I've joined a unique organization. It's funny, you don't need an application. You don't need to apply for the membership. You need to stand up on the front line. And I've joined with a bunch of leaders, and uh, some of my favorite folks, I wrote down just a couple of names, because I knew I'd be a little bit nervous up here. I've joined this alliance, this coalition, of people that have such a serious, pure value for quality audio and video. We speak for the industry of enthusiasts to bring better products, and better services, and better calibration capabilities, and better tools to provide better enhanced products each year. The manufacturers want to do it as well. They're starting to really listen to us. I've joined this alliance. Some of the leaders that are in this with me are Joe Kane, Stacy Spears, David Katzmeyer, Joel Silver, Dwayne, also known as D. Nice, Ed Johnson, Kevin Miller, and myself. We've aligned ourselves together, but we didn't even talk to each other about it. We do it in our own independent way. We bring together, every, my part of this is to bring everybody together here at least once a year, evaluate the next generation products, the top of the line from every company. Because we couldn't have Toshiba at the last minute with a new 3D fantastic high-end TV, the WX800, at the last minute they couldn't participate and they were flying in a unit for us from Tokyo. And also we couldn't get LG's 950 plasma. We really wanted, every year we do eight panels, they happen to be eight. This year we do, because Cedia is coming up, I didn't want to delay it, I wanted to go to Cedia. I didn't want to put this off and conflict with Cedia. So we don't have those two products here. I want to include them. These are the finalists. These are the finalist products. We tested all the products. Some companies didn't make it here today because we cut them. 
These are the finest televisions built today. These are the flagship models from every major manufacturer. Let's see, I got a little more propaganda there, but maybe we should cut through some of that because I promised to cut today shorter. One of the things is, um, aside from Joe Kane providing this disc, many test patterns nobody has ever seen before because Joe created them in his basement. And a fantastic uh, scientist he is. We've got uh, Joel Silver, who also wants to do a live webcast here. Uh, I don't know if we got the phone. Yet. I was just asking yeah. somebody about that. We'll work. Yeah, on. we're going to hand the meeting over. It's sort of a quick agenda is so we can get that phone moved if we can. I think it's the wires are stapled down, and we didn't uh, get that part of our details. Everything was so well executed and planned, except for we had a glitch last night and had somebody moving our phone and we didn't do it because we're trying to get a uh, audio link that will work better. But the quick agenda is that we're going to hand the meeting over to Kevin Miller now. I don't know how many people really know uh, Kevin Miller's background. And just to say a couple of words and put my glasses on so I don't blow it at this point, since I did uh, I'm not going to let you do your own introduction. <laughs> We don't have any manufacturers coming up. Yeah, so we're going to pass it over to you. You're going to speak with Joe Ken Joel Silver. Okay. And with Joel Silver, you're going to go through the presentation. After that, I'm going to just stand up and announce each person very quickly who's right. going to be participating. Same, same general agenda as last night. And um, I'm going to do this off the top of my head because I know Kevin Silver. Uh, Kevin Miller has uh, been doing this for a long time, as you well know. I know that he took the very, very first ISF class that Joel Silver and Joe Kane when they were partners back then when they founded the organization. Kevin's become an instructor as well. So there are there's a lot of people, 3,000, 5,000 ISF uh, certified calibrations. I think there's about 5,000. There's a handful. There's a handful. 5,000? Worldwide, yeah. Yeah. There's a handful of instructors. Kevin is one of them. Kevin is a well-respected television reviewer on CNET. Uh, Kevin operates uh, as a partnership with Kevin Hines on uh, Tweet TV as a co-partner. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Kevin is a master calibrator. There are fantastic calibrators out there. If you come ISF, you're fantastic. But as God made us all a little bit different, there are some that are just masters. And we're, we got three of them, and that's why we have the same three come back every year. Of course, Joe Soso uh, has a lifetime sentence with us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we couldn't do this without Dwayne D. Nice. We couldn't do it without Ed Johnson. And we certainly couldn't do it without Kevin Miller. So I'm very happy that this year we were able to get the participation of Joe Kane, Joel Silver. We got in our audience today, uh, you know, some religions, they just have one God. Some religions have many gods. Our religion, video, has six or seven gods. A couple of them are sitting in this room with us today. Bill may have asked me not to put the spotlight on him, but it's so hard for me not to say just a couple of words because I did a little Google, Google <coughs> research on him. And uh, Bill uh, was in a class in physics, I guess it may have been, with one of the world's finest scientists as his professor. And if you saw him, he looks like Einstein's picture, doesn't he? Yeah, that or ZZ Top number. It's <laughs> <laughs> a combination of the two. That's right. And this brilliant scientist is the actual inventor of plasma television. He immediately uh, hired Bill, his favorite student, to co-produce and invent this product, finish it up, and bring it to market. Uh, Pioneer gave him a shitload of money and, and took over. And uh, one of the assets they acquired was Bill as part of the deal to run Pioneer Plasma Research and Development. That's quite a title to own. It's the highest level title technically, and it's all about development of plasma technology. They're the leading company with 40% of the market share. Uh, Bill Schindler is with us today. So that's uh, quite true. Thank um, you so much for coming. Yeah, uh, Do I take some and there's something there's connected between them, I'm not sure, because they, they share a passion for that technology, and when Pioneer exited that business, they took over some of the intellectual properties and a lot of the key engineering people as well. So, uh, in fact, uh, they don't talk about uh, using any of those intellectual properties. They don't talk much about what they're developing. That's true with every company, and it's very well understood. But if you don't mind my spreading some rumors about it, they've already started to use some of the technology very recently, even though they just took it over. 
by taking off that extra front layer of glass that I used to play ping pong against <laughs> with my weed. And now they took that glass away and we can't do it because it's just like a curve. The final filtering and color layer and the filtering and, and, and their reflective coatings are right on the front glass. So again, no monster cleaners on this one. You gotta treat it just the way we did those fine curves. So I'm sure they're looking at all that intellectual property. I'm sure all those engineers are working on the development of products along with the brilliant engineers that Panasonic already had. And we're gonna continue to build better products every year uh, by the leading companies who have the resources and the drive and the willingness to do that for us. We're holding them to high standards uh, I'm part of that little custodium of uh, folks that are pushing them. Uh, we invite them back here every year. Every year, we're going to put up their TVs. We're going to tell the truth. So it's a bold thing to do. I have a lot of great friends and relationships I've made throughout the years. I try to make them understand this is just business. And uh, this is what we're about in educating the public on this technology. So I don't know if we got our phone working yet. I just rattled on a little bit because we were having some little background stuff, and I can keep talking, as you can see. And we're going uh, to call, okay, we're gonna call uh, Joel now, if you guys can Absolutely. get together. I'll call we can get that slideshow um, going as well. Can you uh, yeah. unplug the HDMI from the yep. generator and put And you, you want to get Joel on the phone, up, please? Yeah, Dwayne, those yeah. files, I can't extract them, so we can get them off Do you know cold. Joel's number? I do, okay. absolutely. Okay, do you want to call uh, Joel on, that? on our yeah. line three yeah. on that phone is the best one to use. Okay. By the way, we're broadcasting today with Clear Technologies 4G. That's Craig McCall's company that a lot of people have heard about. You haven't heard a lot about it in New York because it's coming November 1st. But they heard about what we're doing here, and they gave us that little modem that comes out November 1st, and we have it now. They are lighting up towers all over. It works in the Bronx and the five boroughs really well. 4G, it's 4 to 10 gig of megabytes up and down. You can video conference on the fly while you're driving on the train into the city. You know, it's an amazing, portable, very broadband connection. At the moment, right here, right now, because we're a little bit north of where the tire towers are completed, we're using 3G. Uh, because there's no users, because there aren't any customers yet, it's pretty quick 3G. Uh, so that's how we're webcasting today. The other reason for me to actually want to do this in a few weeks just after Cedia, other than adding two extra panels that I wanted to have here, is because we're going to have 4G, and we're going to be able to do this with a much better connection, a robust connection, where we can actually upload HD, and uh, it'll look better. The consumer, uh, the uh, web people looking out in cyberspace will actually see a good representation of what we're seeing here. So that's such a big breakthrough. I want to add those two panels and redo this. Every year, when we, we've done, this is our fifth shootout, every year we add the panels as they come out from every manufacturer. A lot of times a manufacturer will do a mid-year introduction. Every year, every product that comes along, we put up on the wall and we bring back these calibrators. They calibrate it, we do our own okay. private evaluation. Sometimes we invite a few folks in and we add those that information to our website and all the tweet TVs. And uh, actually it's everywhere. Uh, high def forum, home theater spot, uh, high def junkies. It's everywhere, except it's not uh, on AVS form. <coughs> so those are the places where, at my website, at Tweak TV, at okay. High Def Forum, That's not good, High Joel. Def Junkies, yeah, right now, and Home Theater Spot, the are the places too. where you yeah, see we're working all of this information posted. It's a living exhibit, so it keeps up. adding on as the new products come along.